it's Rob Vegas checking in from Melbourne, Australia, of course, and um, a bit of a strange video today. It is um, Beachhead version 2, um, who, who came out in 1993. Um, and it's a strange video because I think that A, he's got all of his accessories that came with him, not that they're really good accessories um they're all from one of those accessories trees which um everyone including myself does object to but um yeah you can see the figure he's in one piece um so he hasn't uh, succumbed to age having said that um i think it's prudent to open him up and have a look inside and just um maybe replace yeah that screw's a bit wacky in the back there so I think we'll replace that with a brand new one. Um, we'll check out his O-ring because he's going to be coming up on 30 years old. Um, so it probably wouldn't hurt just to inspect that. And um, yeah, we'll get this troop assembled and, and back in action. Sometimes with these 90s figures, uh, yeah, he's got that unfortunate damage to the waist piece. Um, and actually, yeah, you can see that's starting to become a bit gnarly there. Um, and that's not going to last much longer. Um, and there's some kind of debris there on the little hook. Um, so let's discard the old screw and the O-ring and get a new one from the supply room over it here at Rob Vegas Technology Center. Um, so I always thought um, this was a cool update, um, this particular figure to Beachhead. Um, and um, yeah, like a cool uniform, you know, it's got that sort of seafaring uh, color scheme with the green and the blue and the black. Um, I mean, you could certainly do a lot worse around the time this particular figure came out with all sorts of colors um, so they did a good job in terms of designing and selecting a color scheme um, of course the weapons and accessories um, they could have done a bit better job on that um, so you can see what we're doing there as always we've got those two little pins that pop out of the back piece and they go into the corresponding um, guide holes on the front piece there um, and we just click that together tentatively as it were and this is where we get a moment to pop the arms back in hopefully we get them the right way around that's always a plus when you do so there we go he's got a left arm and oh whoop a days he popped apart which is something that happens when you're trying this but um yeah, that's just part of the fun, isn't it? Oh, there we go. So we've clicked together. So let's again just pop him in there and hope for the best. And then we'll pop his other arm in. And again, fingers crossed. And of course, the head, um, we just sort of whoop, pop him in, give him a bit of a swivel, make sure he's cool. Um, and yeah, he's real rock solid with that new O-ring. Like I said, we'll replace the screw with a brand new one as well. Um, just in case the old one, you know, of any corrosion, any of that kind of thing. We don't want the, that to strip. So next time, you know, you try to take him apart, there's, um, you know, no traction there. So of course, yeah, he's got these super duper 1990s bright yellow accessories. Now, off the top of my head, I'm going to say that was from, that's a recycle from Recoil. Um, that's Shockwave from, and that's Spearhead and Max, maybe, the machine gun. Um, and yeah, I'm not really a big fan of these accessories. They could have just given him a nice, you know, like rifle or, you know, something like that and a backpack, I reckon. And, and this guy would have been just totally banging. But um, 
that wasn't sort of the way they were rolling back then. So, that, but that's a story for another day and, and for someone who knows more about it than me to, to talk about. But um, that's good news. We've got Beachhead. Um, actually, the knife's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it is yellow, but... Yeah, there we go. That's probably his best best one of the accessories in my book there. But, um, yeah, he's ready to go. Like this cool... Like, I really like the design. Um, it's a good figure. Yeah, but, um, yeah, just let down by some... Um, yeah, just by the, the bits and bobs that came with him, sadly. But, um, yeah, it's great to have him back in action. He's fully upgraded with brand new o-ring and screw to hold him together so good times there and um yeah he'll join the rest of the troops that have been assembled and um have a good old time yeah if anyone's got any tips on how to you know um say remove screws that have been threaded in the back of the figure or ones that have rusted and things like that let me know in the comments below uh, let me know what you think of this version of Beachhead as well, and if you've got any questions about it. Um, let me know, do you like these bright yellow accessories? Um, yeah, if you do, that's cool. I'd love to hear all about it. But um, on that particular note, like, comment, and subscribe. There's lots of fun videos going on all the time here at Rob Vegas on my YouTube channel. And... Um, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you and of course, most of all, seeing you all in the next video. So stand by for action.